It's been a crazy week in America. Let's find out what happened. After recently issuing an executive order prohibiting mask mandates, Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced this week that he had tested positive for the coronavirus. <laughs> Even worse, he announced it right into a reporter's mouth. <laughs> hey, hey. Huh? Come here. Yeah? Come here. Uh, yeah? I got it right. Ah! <laughs> My mouth was open. Yeah, it was. Following... <laughs> Last weekend's collapse of the Afghan government, President Biden's approval rating reportedly fell by 7%. But that's not the worst fall he's had. <laughs> I, I love the... I love the, like, after the trip in the... Nobody saw that. <laughs> it goes on forever. forever. Every time we play it, I go... Oh, what a fun gift. It's not. It's just one continuous call. It just would have been perfect if he, like, looked back a little bit to see if anybody caught that. And, and then everyone went... Everybody like... <laughs> 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 saw that, right? No. No. Oh. I mean... Twitter released a statement this week announcing that it will allow the Taliban to operate on its platform as long as they follow the company's rules while Facebook announced that they've been run by the Taliban this whole time. That's true. That's true. New Zealand is under a nationwide lockdown after one case of coronavirus was discovered there. Ooh, New Zealand's in trouble. <gasps> Tarek, don't be mean. New Zealand is our friend. Maybe we should call him just to check up. Yeah. Derek, pick up the extension. It's all right. New Zealand residents, may I ask who's speaking? Um, yeah. Hi, this is Amber Ruffin. Um, I'm a friend of New Zealand, and I was wondering if they could talk on the phone right now. Mm, well, I'm sorry, Amber Ruffin, but New Zealand is on punishment. Oh. <laughs> well, well, do you know how long they'll be on punishment? Indefinitely, but most likely 10 days. Oh, come on, Mom! Don't make me make it 14! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, may I ask, what did New Zealand do? Well, if you must know, they brought that little Delta variant in my house, knowing good and well I don't play... I don't play that under my roof. Oh, no. How many cases? One. One? One? Well, the U.S. has 159,787 cases. Yeah, and that was just today. <laughs> okay, well, listen. What Miss USA does under her roof is none of my business. But if I'm being honest, they're not raising y'all right, making y'all pay for health care and college and letting y'all play with guns. Mm-mm. It ain't right. Um, Mrs. New Zealand's mom? Miss. Um, Miss, um... <laughs> can we come live with you? Please. No, 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 no. But listen, I'll tell you what. If this pandemic ever ends, maybe you can come visit. Yes, ma'am. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Why are your little friends calling my house? <laughs> See? You in trouble. Airlines flight attendant reportedly asked a woman on a recent flight to glue her child's mask to her face because she wouldn't stop crying. Added the flight attendant, but as always, make sure to glue a mask onto your own face before gluing one onto the face of your child. Yes, yes, yes. According to a new study, toddlers are more likely to spread the coronavirus in their homes than teenagers. This study was conducted by anyone who has ever seen a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Adorable. Please, no, please take that picture down. Cut it out. Yeah. Adorable. Freaking gross. Adorable and gross. Gross. I hate it so bad. <laughs> They're so deep in there. I and can't the, feel yeah. right. And they want to, yes. they want to, you know, you want them to pick them up and. No? Look, I'm sorry, but everyone who ever had a kid is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Texting me, what did you call me? Uh -huh. uh, 
Monday was National Roller Coaster Day, and it threw me for a loop. Yes. <laughs> it did. It did. And finally, a man in New York recently set a Guinness World Record by drinking two liters of a sugar-free cola in under 19 seconds. When asked for comment, the man said, <laughs> Did you guys like it? Okay. Good. We wrote it just for you. Now, if you oh, oh that gotcha. Now, if you follow the news, you know that US forces pulled out of Afghanistan this week and that shortly after they did, the Taliban took control of the country. Well, Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert had something to say about it on Twitter. The Taliban are the only people building back better. Wow, bold take. That brings us to a new segment titled, This Probably Goes Without Saying. Now, this probably goes without saying, but you're welcome to join the Taliban. I mean, I don't think they're turning a ton of people away right now. So if you're loving what you're seeing on the news, by all means, you know, Join the Taliban, Lauren. <laughs> of course, I'm not sure when you'll be able to catch the next flight to Kabul, but feel free to snag one of those ticks when they pop up on Trivago. <laughs> Heads up, due to COVID rules, you're probably gonna have to wear a mask on that flight. And based on the fact that you once threw a mask at a staffer who asked you to wear one, I'm gonna guess that's not really your thing. <laughs> Frankly, if you have a hard time following basic rules, you may not love life under the Taliban. <laughs> or maybe you will. Heck, maybe you'll thrive. Maybe you'll become a famous Taliban politician. So go ahead, Lauren. Go join the Taliban. <laughs> Though I think this probably goes without saying, the Taliban aren't exactly nuts about women in power. But <laughs> you know this, everyone knows this. In fact, one might say, this probably goes without saying. Recently, many white celebrities have confessed to only washing their children sporadically. And uh, as a black person, this troubles me. You know, I really want to talk to white people about it, but they're not the most receptive. You know what they do respond to? Black people singing a little song. Oh, yeah. With mild choreography. And matching outfits. What a good idea! Yeah. Hit it! It's been a real rough couple of weeks. So much bullshit has gone down. California droughts and Cosby's out. It's enough to make me proud. There's just one thing I can't seem to shake. Can't pull it up around the round. Some famous people barely bathe the kids. And guess what? They're not brown. Celebrities. 
smells like blue cheese. And it's your fault. I have my own YouTube channel now. Yay! Be sure to subscribe for a lot of show clips and a lot of digital exclusives and a lot of this. Look, look, look.